pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I'll call the meeting to order. <coughs> Um, we also have the open public forum. Uh, anyone that would like to speak for two minutes, now is your opportunity. Is there anyone out here that has anything? If not, we'll move on. We're going to establish the agenda. Um, Aaron, is there anything that you need on there? No, sir. Okay. Rob? No, sir. Pete? No. Julie? Yes, I would like to add a resolution in support of increased library funding. That's right. That was there. <clears throat> All right, Bob, is there anything you need? No. And Jenny, was there anything else you needed to no. add? All right. If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. There's a motion made and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Any further discussion? If not, proceed the vote. <laughs> All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Has everyone had an opportunity to take a look at everything on there? Or if there are any questions? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I have a couple of questions, please. Yes. It's uh, regarding the claims, and uh, it's just a, it's a couple of questions in general. Uh, one uh, is just, uh, you know, it's just a point of information. I'm looking here, we've had uh, some uh, oil changes and things done at Chuck Spath Ford. Is that something that is particular to that vehicle or is that something that we can get done and support our local businesses? It's the Just, ambulance department. Is that what it is? Okay. So is that like a warranty issue or something, a serviceable issue that it, they need to do versus having a, somebody in town do it or? I'm not exactly 100% okay. certain as to why they've chosen to always go to Chuck's Bay. Okay. But like the squads, the police squads and such right. do go to, in town here. Okay. But the ambulance, both those rigs have been and, and those are that's a diesel and all that, so maybe it requires special services. They're not able to do it, any of the services that's here. I certainly can question the ambulance. Eh, could, wouldn't hurt to mention. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> the other is, <clears throat> Jenny, you might have this. Um, looking, it's uh, it's actually on page four. It's the money market fund. Mm -hmm. It's the monthly investments. Those are dollars that we're paying them to manage or what is no, that that's number? money that gets transferred into the money market fund each month for debt service payments and reserve payments awesome yep. okay that's all i had mr mayor okay thank you any other further questions concerning the consent agenda if not i'll entertain a motion to approve it so, so we'll second sir motion made uh by bob seconded by rob is there any further discussion any further discussion if not, proceed to vote. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. <clears throat> Motion carries. We have no public hearings. <coughs> New business, request from Winthrop Chamber to support cleanup day. Uh, Linda, you want to come up? You have the... Uh, <coughs> Good evening. Brenda. Hey, Brenda. <laughs> I don't have to introduce myself, everybody. I don't know if you know me. I'm Brenda Meyer with the Chamber. Um, last year, you guys were really kind and um, went together with the Chamber for Community Cleanup Day, which was held the third um, Saturday in September, same as the um, citywide garage sales. We would like to see if you guys will do this again this year and also continue to do it so it would be in your annual budget to continue to do it. Um, last year you guys paid up to 175. The bill that we got was um, they used two um, roll offs, 30 yards each, and they're about $323.46 um, each. And we're wondering if you guys will do up to 300 or at least pay half of the bill. Um, last year we used a uh, roll off and a half and that was because um, Gordy was there with the payloader and put everything down so that we had space and stuff so we didn't use as much which was awesome so we'd like to see if we can have that there again also so the bill actually came to 532.50 again that was a roll off and a half that they charged us and you're, you guys paid the 175 the chamber paid 357.50 wondering if we could just make it an even split of the bill up to 300 to you guys council 
Was last year a success? You know, um, we were hoping for a few more. We had, um, I've got numbers here. We had like 68, not 68, 38 people that came, 30 residents. We only had one that we had to turn away that brought, at the very end, brought in, um, I think it was a dishwasher or something that we had to say no. That was the only person we turned away. We did allow some people to come back with a second load and stuff. Everybody was okay with checking us, checking their IDs to make sure they were Winthrop residents. Nobody was not, nobody came from out of town or anything. It was a, it was a good success and I think we're gonna change the time Instead of one to three, we're gonna go two to four, hoping to meet more of the garage sales that end mm -hmm. and stuff. So we're, we're gonna do it at a later time. Uh, what are you taking? Um, they will take- Just the, a range, I mean, you don't have to give me everything, but just a summation. I will tell you what they will not accept. Okay. That's <laughs> listed in <All> here. Right. <laughs> they don't accept like tires, TV, monitors, computers, electronics of any kind, um, appliances. <clears throat> You know, motor oil, batteries, different things like that. Boxes and mattresses, box springs and mattresses. So paint. Um, no paint, paint and paint. Yeah, paint and chemicals. Oh, wow. They did not accept. But I mean, we had a lot of people come with very full, and they came early. But again, I think we missed a lot of the garage sales that were going in. So the chamber is going to wants to move the time back to two to four versus one to three. And this is designed for people who have stuff just cluttered, maybe old refrigerator or old no. something no. or nothing. No refrigerator, we can't do, it, it's, it's sort no. of like, let's clean up, okay. let, let's clean up and get rid of the garbage that you, you want to get rid of besides what's listed on here. Right. And like windows and doors or something like that? People brought windows, people brought doors, people okay. brought so furniture. So things that could be left laying out in their backyard and up against the shed or something yes. like that. Correct. It's, it's, that's kind of that's, thank you. Okay. I, did, I was just trying. Okay. So it's trying to get all that cleaned up. So, okay. And there's no fee to them for doing that? There, there was no fee. Okay. The only time we would have to add a fee is if we accept appliances. Okay. The one thing the chamber didn't want to do was have to um, worry about money and work with the money out there and stuff so basically we I mean we took pieces of paper we wrote everybody's name down their address where they came so that we kept track of who was coming and who was going uh, it, in I that think, way it was a success I think neighboring I think. communities I know Gaylord does a recycling deal yeah. too but yeah. they'll, where they'll take that and you can be from out of town there because you're paying a fee yeah, that's a county yeah. and that's count right so I, I, mr. mayor I you know it, did we budget any money for that or is that Not something this year. We could, okay. I, mean, we can find, move some money from I move that we would uh, pay part of if part of that bill up to three hundred dollars then because it is a service to the community and the, it said I mean it's it's covered by the whole community but it's beautification of the community and again if you guys are checking to make sure these folks do live in town and we're helping them to clean up possibly cluttered area around their houses I'm sure not only their neighbor but the whole community appreciates it and, and we, we had three so of I would, I would move that we do that you want to make this ongoing then or do you want them to come to us every year for this well I would think we could you, you could keep this up to date with it, but and we can talk about it in, in August when we start putting the budget together. But I would say for now, let's just do the three hundred dollars. Okay, so there is a motion on the table. <clears throat> to, I'd like um, that. Okay, to go up to three hundred dollars for this year. At this point, is there a sec? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, second. second discussion. Yes. Is there any further discussion? Yeah. Yes. When you say community, does that include the townships too, or just a? As community? long as their address on their driver's license said Winthrop, we we allowed them to come. We figured um, as long as they were considered a Winthrop resident and their driver's license said Winthrop, we did not stop them. So, no. Yep. I think it's just a it, it's an important community thing. If nothing else, it says we're we're proud of our community. We mm -hmm. want it to look as good. As well, and we had and three the townships support yep. our community. I mean, support the city That's of Winthrop. We support them. And it's so good PR. We're all together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any further discussion? Any other questions on it? Any further discussion? If not, proceed to vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign.
Motion carries. My question to you, though, is do I have to come back next year and ask again? Yeah, that's where you made it sound until we look at budget. I would say, yeah, let's talk about it, though. Put a, put a bug in Jenny's ear for this fall when we start putting yeah. the budget yeah, together. We, and if we do that, August. then we would vote on it again next year. But then at least we could continue with the appropriation each year. I just wanted to note. Just put it in the budget in August when we, when we do our budget. Mm -hmm. for, uh, well, they might so need four dumpsters you know next year, though. <laughs> Well, we would put it up. We'd to, set a certain dollar amount dollars. still. And then if they right. wanted to do more, it would be. And we could just put it on as an on our end. You wouldn't have to come. We could just have that discussion. Right. Yeah. I think I just wanted to make sure that I could tell the chamber that, yes, it is going forward. And you're you know. good to go this yeah, year. Good to go but this year. But we, I, I was just saying to, to remind Jenny then yes. this fall mm -hmm. that yes. you would like Reminders to have us consider <laughs> making that a line item for continuation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. And the chamber thanks you. Okay. Thanks for thanks for you guys for handing it up. Yeah. Bids for the new phone system. Vanessa. Oh. Hmm. It's expensive. Twenty six hundred at PBX. There's more than that, wasn't it? And I think you guys have a copy of both those. Yep, they got them in the agenda. Six hundred. Saw twelve grand on here. So our current phone system is very outdated and very old. Uh, the PBX mm -hmm. now has stopped functioning properly, so we have lots of phantom phone calls, um, lots of phantom voicemails. Um, some real ones. Yeah, and some real ones. So Dale and I first met with, um, or did we meet with ours Fiber first? Didn't no, you Marco. Know? You and Dale met with Marco, and then you and I met with ours. Okay, because Marco, <clears throat> they had a pretty good plan in place of what they could do for us um, and at that time he didn't get me a quote right away there's an issue with porting our numbers doing what porting, porting. our numbers with their system because this is more of like a um, goes over the internet uses the internet and not the mm -hmm. actual phone line Boip. so then I did you know request this um, quote and it's considerably expensive mm -hmm. yeah especially for what they are offering for even just their one time, yeah. but then also what they're offering monthly. Mm -hmm. And so then, you know, Jenny and I had met with RS Fiber on a, several occasions. One, to kind of do some futzing with our current phone bills, mm -hmm. things that were not necessary to kind of knock that down. And then also with their quote, as you can see, their monthly, like what they'll be offering us monthly is cheaper than what we are paying now even. And it will save us about $2,400 a year. And the one-time <clears throat> fees, as you can see, are consider considerably lower mm -hmm. than Marco's and <clears throat> for what they can do. And Marco even felt that we should, we, if we were going to go with their system, we could you know, use their system, but they would want us to keep ours fiber because they felt that fiber, their, the process that we have in place is very good. And so... Yeah. So at any rate, those are the two proposals we received. What's the price? Okay, uh, we have a motion made by uh, Julie to accept the RS Fiber bid. Is there a second to that motion? Second. Uh, Rob has seconded. Is there any further discussion? I also wanted to say, too, that they'll, they're, with this, they're putting in a new firewall. That's part of the, the bid. Our firewall is over 10 years old. Okay. And yeah. And part of that uh, monthly is all uh, service calls that includes and maintenance and, and they won't trouble charge us any maintenance. troubleshooting. That yep. it's kind of like a contractual. We take care of it all for that 440. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. RS Fiber. Yep. It won't change. It and they're in town, and so. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Now proceed to vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Um, well, how long will it take them to get that all set up? Will they like a month, a month and a half? No, not even. Okay. Oh. It wasn't even going to take that long. And it won't, it will not interrupt we anything that we have now. Right. Okay. Because that was a question that I asked. So when they come in, they'll get it. <clears throat> this is, you know, Jackson's will have to come and do the Cat 5. Mm -hmm. And once that's all in place, They'll come in and do their portion of it, and I didn't think it was going to take them that long. I can't remember they now. They should but. build it out, and then all it's going to do is take the switch over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now all the, phone, all the phone lines will run through City Hall. The yes. City Garage, 
the ambulance and who else the water department water. No, right they're still on well no and the library and the so library. then we would be able now yeah. matthew Welcome. could transfer oh nice to oh. the different mm -hmm. extensions and to the library because we get phone calls all the time that yep. think we're the yep. library It'll make oh, things and the police department yeah. and the police department will make things more convenient. Yeah, and that RS fiber that includes our internet as well. Mm -hmm. that, oh. oh, so that's the total monthly bill. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. That's good. That's good. good. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good job. All the time and effort you guys put into it. Thank you, Vanessa. Yes, thank you. Next, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> we have an ordinance uh, two zero one nine dash one two nine. An ordinance uh, adding chapter three zero six regarding right-of-way permits and administration. Um, Jenny, why don't you explain that a little bit? It's quite a long ordinance, but um, we can't, ran into some problems last year when we had some people doing work in our right-of-way. We don't really have a lot of regulation regarding that. Some of the right-of-ways are full. Gordy had to move them to different parts of the blocks and whatnot, and we found out that we don't really have a lot of good control over our rights-of-way. Um, this kind of falls hand in hand with the next item, but um, that being said, I um, talked to some other cities to see what they had for right-of-way ordinances, and this is the ordinance that we came up with. And then I had Aaron review it and give his blessing on it so that we would you know, have something that we can manage, that we can administer out of our office, and we have some control over what goes in our right away and where it goes. We're not That's trying right. to prohibit anything. We're, we're simply, no. we want to be in the loop when things are happening. We're defining it now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, we, it's, they still have to come in and provide a permit. They just, right now it's a $5 permit. You give us a map. We don't know what it is. We don't know who's putting it in. We don't know anything. So this just kind of hmm. gives a little more regulation to that. So um, I'll entertain a motion. To a we're looking for just First reading. First reading. Oh, yeah. just first reading. <clears throat> yeah. No. Okay. So this is the first reading. reading. Yes. Okay. Well, let's go to uh, small wireless facility design guidelines. And this is the ordinance that we had the first reading on is referenced in this. And this, um, in your packet, there's a, a summary. Yep. There's a picture. There's a summary from the league. And this has kind of been a big issue at the legislature this year, too, is the small cell wireless legislation. Um, with 5G coming, the, the phone companies want to come in and they don't want to be told what they can do and where they can put their antenna. So we need to be proactive in how we regulate how they put these antennae. And I, I provided this picture, you know, here's a city with, with regulations and then here's a city without regulations. So right now, in order for us to have regulations, we have to have something in place by April 15th of 2019. If we don't have any regulations in place by then, we will not be able to regulate who comes into town, <coughs> what those antenna look like, where they put them, or anything like that. So it's kind of important that we get something done sooner rather than later. The, the first deadline was actually January 14th, but that was for cities who already had small cell wireless companies coming in oh, okay. and had deals in place with them. So they had to have something in place by January 14th. And, and honestly, I didn't have any regulations at that time to even go by. So um, now I've, I've um, found some that we can follow and they reference this ordinance, so they kind of go hand in hand. But um, these are just guidelines, you know, it's not, anything official but we can enforce this but we can like if they don't meet the the guidelines to the letter like one of them said the poles have to be between houses well if we don't right. have a pole between a house you know the city and Gordy can make that judgment call that nope we don't have a pole between a house but this pole isn't having an antenna here isn't going to block the view it's not going to block an intersection it's not going to you know <coughs> it'll it'll be aesthetically okay so, so and, and these need to be published too. So if, if this gets passed tonight, I'll have to have it on our website as soon as possible. So and notice out that we're. <coughs> what is the enforcement of this? Is there any enforcement of it? Or it's just guidelines. It's guidelines. Um, when the when the, I, I got down to the whole part about how even the the wires on the pole had to be painted the same color yeah. in this that and the other. Right, right. And I understand that, but then I'm thinking if somebody were to just come in and say, well, these are our guidelines, they're like, whatever. Right. Well, the ordinance regulates the right of way. So that's kind of our enforcement. Okay. Okay. These okay, guidelines, okay. you know, like I said, we can vary from them a little bit okay. because, you know, at our discretion, but it gives, and, and 
According to the, the information the league has put out and I've gotten from MMUA, we can't really have any set standards because they're still fighting this in the legislature. This is the standard right now. That may change by the end of the session. Okay. So. But I think we should have something in place. Yeah, to at least say this is the way we do things here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you will abide by these guidelines, then we'll allow you the right of way. Absolutely. Right. That's the way we're mm -hmm. structuring it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We're not trying to prohibit them to come to town, but when they do come, we want them to make sure they're cognizant of our city and how we want things to look in our town. Yeah. So. So can we approve this without the ordinance being um, without yeah. the second reading? Yeah. Okay. I'll it's a policy. It'll dovetail just into a policy. the. I'll entertain ordinance. a motion to approve this so policy. Moved. Second. Motion made by Rob, seconded by Julie. Any further discussion? When we take a vote, I just want to uh, have a, a side question that kind of pertains to this but doesn't, and I just want to ask it at that point. Okay. Go with the vote, yeah. All right. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Go ahead, Pete. My question is, do we have like a franchise fee for, is it Mediacom? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, do we have franchise for like the gas company? They, we have a franchise, but there's not franchise fees um, associated with the gas company. Okay, like, we have a franchise that, I agreement. I guess that's what I wanted. Do we have yeah. fees or uh, how, uh, uh, RS Fiber, company? RS Fiber and Mediacom are the only two entities that pay franchise fees. Oh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, moving on. Uh, we are looking at 2019-130, um, an ordinance amending city code, Chapter 2, Part 2, regarding the Winter Police Department. Um, this First reading. Yeah, this ordinance just um, kind of makes the police department a department head like all the rest of the departments. Um, they'll report to me. The, the, it outlines the chain of command within the police department, um, duties and authorities within the police department. So. And Karen's reviewed it, and do you have anything? Oh, okay. I think it's great. Good. Is there any further discussion? No. I'll entertain a motion. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's First an ordinance. Reading. First reading. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've done that. Next time. Okay. Resolution um, R. 2019-02 resolution petitioning the chief judge of the first judicial district to appoint replacements to fill vacancies in the city of Winthrop Home Rule Charter Commission. So we just need to um, so have a, a resolution asking that. So I'll entertain. That's a, just approving the new appointees for right. the Charter Commission. And you said they usually don't approve them? I mean, do the, the judge rarely ever takes it upon themselves to appoint okay. members. But to we our, have to do this by. Mm -hmm. We have to give them 30 days. We had to give them 30 days to do the appointing, okay. and then they didn't. So now we can step in and say, well, we have people who are willing to do this, and we would like you to appoint them. Okay. okay. So I'll entertain a motion to so approve. Moved. Motion made by Julie. Second. Seconded by Rob. Is there any further discussion? Any further discussion? If not, proceed to vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Um, resolution 2019-03, increasing the number of commissioners of the Winthrop Economic Development Authority. Why don't you just give us a brief overview of what yeah. it says? Okay, the EDA board has been um, operating under the guidance that there were two council appointees, but only one of them was able to vote at the meetings at a time. Yeah. So there was five members, one council person, and four at large. Well, after we reviewed the bylaws, we found out that there's technically two council appointees, yes, and they both have voting ability. Hmm. So that bumped our board up to six members, and we only are supposed to have five because we had four at large, oh, that's right. two council people. So we had one term expire this year. So if that person left, then we're back to five with the two council and three at large. So we discussed it at the EDA board level, and we thought because we can, by resolution, be up to seven members, we would, if we bumped it to seven, we'd still have the two council people voting, and we'd be able to have five at large, which would give us more community input, mm -hmm. you know, and kind of diversify <coughs> the board a little bit. So they made a motion at their meeting to recommend that you increase it, the board to seven members. And we didn't need to change the bylaws or anything because it already no. says. No, council has authority to yes. do that. 
Any at discussion EDA, on that? At the EDA level, they, we felt it was important to have more, as mm -hmm. you said, community input. That'd be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just my own, we, we don't have an issue of filling those positions? No, I actually have two people who are interested in being on the board. Wonderful. And, but I've been holding off interviewing them to see what the council decides. Motion to approve, or, yeah. Yeah, we need a motion. Motion to approve. Okay, we have a motion made by Rob and seconded by Julie to approve the uh, resolution increasing the number of commissioners on the EDA. Is there any further discussion? Any further discussion? If not, proceed to vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Yerby's bids on summer projects. Um, Troy's been working with Bob at Jerpy's on the Dean Conklin line, and then there's a storm sewer. I don't know if you're heading to Gaylord, there's a big orange cone alongside the road right past the old vet clinic. Mm -hmm. That um, storm sewer drain is washed out, and that needs to be repaired. So um, that's the bid for 21962 yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is to fix this, the storm sewer line through Dean Conklin's property that he's mentioned to all of you. Um, I don't think anybody has talked directly with Roger Osborne or Dale Jackson, but I know that, or did you? I have talked to uh, Dale in the past, and I know that they, they would have an issue with water bubbling back up uh, because it's not going away fast enough, whether it's the, the ditch being too high or, or I think it's a larger pipe going into a smaller pipe, which just doesn't well, seem to work. We were well. going to do a study. Did they do a study to determine, or are they just going to do it? Well, we can, uh, we can have the engineer come in and do a study, but I think based on the discussions we've had, we know that the pipe's not big enough it's and undersized. it needs to be replaced. Well, there was some discussion about it being a tile versus a... Oh, it's, uh, yeah. And all that stuff. You yes, know, and, and, and we did find out that it is corrugated tile. Um, the tile that they're proposing gets put in will be corrugated on the outside, smooth on the inside. But it will replace that tile? Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. City's liable to do that? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's our line. And so. we, have a, we have easement through that land to do that. And I've been in contact with um, Dean's son about it because he's kind of taking care of it now, Blair. And this has been an issue for many, many years. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So we will <laughs> discuss the first option, or the first bid, uh, replacing that line, going to the county ditch. That uh, one we almost have to. Oh, the, the second one, the one on the highway. That's the second one. Mm -hmm. Where's that one? I don't, the cone? When you're heading towards Gaylord, it's right past the old vet clinic there. By the fence or just before the fence? It's, it's right over, there's that little bridge that goes over yeah. the ditch. It's right along there okay. where that bridge starts on the right-hand side. Okay. We need uh, approvals separately though, right? Each bid? You can do them both if you want to do them both. No problem. Okay. Um, council, any discussion? This is coming out of uh, sewer? The utilities, yeah. Utility, water. Mm -hmm. Okay, sewer. No. Uh, motion to approve. Motion made by Rob. To I'll second it. And that's both. Both. And that's for both. both. Projects. Yep. First estimate was uh, 19,444.25, and that would be for the new line going through Dean Conklin's property. The second one was uh, replacing the um, intake. Yeah. The intake for 21,962. Yep. And Bob, you seconded. Yep. The uh, the motion. Is there any further discussion? <laughs> Any further discussion? If not, no. we'll proceed to vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay, uh, Jenny Anderson, <coughs> Annexation Joint Resolution. Aaron, do you want to explain that a little bit? Sure. This is the first step where the township and the city each have to approve this proposed notice of intent. Then it can get published then it'll come back again. So this is so authorizing that. Where is the Anderson edition? Larry Anderson's, where his house was out here. The house that was oh. burned by the fire department and the garage got moved out for... Yeah. Um, right here beside our, 
No. Industrial no. Park property. I thought that was in. The, no. No, it was that not in the That little strip of land is right. not. That, yeah. He held on to that because we, had, I know we had even okay. done an option years ago when Dave was mayor to mm -hmm. even buy it. First right of refusal and all that. But I don't remember that, but open. I remember part of his garage was on the yeah, yeah, yeah. on the city property yeah. or something. <laughs> like that. Who owns the farmland that they plant corn and stuff? I don't that's know. Dean. That's, that's Dean. That's Dean Conklin. Dean Conklin's yeah. on on both north yeah. and south of the yeah. highway. Yep. Okay, so we've got the uh, annexation joint resolution. Uh, we do need a motion on that. So moved. Motion okay. made by Pete, seconded by Julie. Is there any further discussion? Everybody understands where it is? If not, proceed to vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. And Julie. Um, my request, Jenny emailed it out for you already, the resolution is just, um, I would like a resolution in support of um, the request from the Minnesota Library Association to increase funding for the um, state library system and um, to redo their formula that distributes the money. Um, there are 12 regional public library systems in the state of Minnesota. And for the first time, did, I, did you get a copy of this? I had, it, yeah. it's a, this is a news article from September in the Free Press, but it was, it was one of the easiest, um, it just puts everything together and makes it fairly readable. I mean, I could have given you lots of numbers <laughs> and put you to sleep really quickly. Um, <laughs> The, the gist of it is the 12 library systems have um, agreed on this proposed request, which has never happened before. There's always a smaller one, you know, a smaller system that wants this and the bigger systems want that or vice versa. Um, they all agree because um, of late, everyone's taken a hit one way or the other. Um, our region, Traverse de Sioux, has taken a huge hit over the years, if you look at that. Um, it has dropped from, um, in 2010, we were at 730,000 in state funding, and in 2017, we got just under 500,000. And all of our costs and services have stayed the same. So that increase has been borne by the counties and the cities and other entities that support the libraries. Um, so we're just trying to get as many um, bodies, counties, cities to, um, pass resolutions in support of the legislation so that hopefully the governor's office and the legislators look at it and say, yes, we like our libraries, we'd like to <laughs> fund them adequately. And if you have questions, I have lots more information. I can tell you a lot about it. <laughs> I'll entertain a motion. I move approval of the uh, resolution to uh, support the libraries. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay, is there any further discussion? I was just going to add yes, the um, director at Traverse de Sioux Library System. Um, she's very good. Her name is Ann Hokinson. She is the um, chair of the legislative committee of the Minnesota Library Association who's, um, you know, working through this. And she's <coughs> a really good asset to our region because um, she's a really calm, solid voice for all of this at the, legislator, as, at the legislature. I was looking, I saw it. You guys haven't had anything since like 2002 or 2006 it's, or something yeah, like that. It's yeah. been a very long time. 13 yeah, not years. Not even cost of, you yeah. know, inflation or anything. Is there any further discussion? If not, we'll proceed to vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you very much. And the resolution is signed. Okay, we have no unfinished business. Uh, reports by officers and board, city administrator, and EDA. Um, we're working on the pavilion. We're moving forward with that yet. It's just been very quiet. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to get an estimate from Brian on the engineered plans, and then we can get a bid packet together. Ken's here doing the audit. I've been working on the municipalities meeting. We're going to meet in April. Um, I've been working on the website, I've updated the EDA page, and then I've been working a lot on these ordinances for the meeting. Um, EDA, I attended the Housing Partnership, uh, Housing Institute, our fourth of five. Um, we've been working on, I've been, um, at, went through opportunities <coughs> meetings, we went to the banquet, um, book work, website stuff, year end, lots of year end stuff. So, and But I did want to point out that I included in your packet our 
EDA year-end review. I put this on the website. Um, I thought it'd be nice for people to know what we do because sometimes things don't things fall through and people don't know that a lot of work goes into some stuff and we just don't get it done. So even at the EDA meeting, we were all kind of impressed when Jenny put this out. We said, "Oh, wow." You know, it has been a productive year. Sometimes even when you're involved in those discussions, you kind of forget what you were talking about six months earlier. So it was nice to see a year-end. Yeah, kind of and like that. this was actually Doug's request. So I listened Things to him change this one quickly. time. <laughs> this one time I I'll thought I'd him. listen to Doug. So, <laughs> um, But yeah, other than that, um, a lot of year-end stuff. And I've been trying to update the website. So if there's anything on there, they're not on there that you want on there, I've been working on adding some stuff and, you know, I guess with this med school coming, we've been working on the Healthy Heartland Homes website too. That's now live. Um, I don't know if you all got a chance to see the Herman the German commercial that I, it's on our website and we posted on Facebook that we did with New Alm. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get it up to date and try to get more community events on there. That takes a little bit longer to do. <coughs> That's what I've been doing. Very good. Mm -hmm. Is that it? <laughs> yes, Rob, that's it. <laughs> this one. Aaron, did you have anything? Uh, just the normal criminal processes, cases okay. in process, nothing really noteworthy, and then just helping Jenny with all the ordinances and resolutions. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we had our individual pictures taken tonight, so when, you know. <laughs> It, any of us have to hold our little numbers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at your good side. We're going to review them. <laughs> Water and sewer. He's not. Um, Troy's not here tonight. Okay. No. So, <laughs> he so he, there was no report I didn't see. Just those. Just that's the what he's working stuff. on. Oh, um, one thing though, he did say we do have 40 meters in, 40 of the water meters in, and so we're going to start lining up. Well, he does have a list of people to start getting those put in to people's houses. We're going to do about. 40, 30, 40 test homes, see how the installation works, the, how the reading the meters works, and, and get a feel for that. And then when the electric meters come in, we'll do the, with the same with the electric. Mm -hmm. so. Very good. Street? Nothing. Nothing going on? No. Boring? No. Just sleep all night and don't have to get up early? Back to the Your phones are busy, that's about it. He doesn't care about us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, Anything going on with the electric department? No. Uh, Pete, did you want? Well, no, I just missed the last meeting. I just hope you guys understood that tariff. It's nothing new. No, that was from last year. Yeah. And, but Dave, I did. They want another one signed and sent. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think he needs it signed. He just needs a motion they, they, that we That way it. Yep. Yeah. Um, but I wasn't, I was supposed to go to the MMUA legislative update, and I did not get there with the bad weather last week. But Dave did say this tariff was <laughs> discussed. And there'll probably be some changes coming. So, yeah. hmm. yeah. okay. um, I did have a question. I had someone approach me asking about uh, having solar panels. Um, does MMUA have some type of a program? No, that's our MMPA. That's it's actually going to be discussed at the PACE meeting next week. Okay. Um, some solar, but we do have the city did adopt guidelines back in yep. fourteen right. or fifteen. Yeah. 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 And my understanding is any of the surplus they have to send sell it at the cost mm -hmm. at the MMPA because you own all the trans you own all the right. wires and everything. Right. So I mean they say we'll pay you five cents a kilowatt or something. You say no I want ten. We're saying, well Okay, so you can't get it out. So if you generate more than what you're using, you sell it back to them. Do they produce a lot of electricity? I don't know. I uh I don't think <laughs> here's so. my here's what I'm but but you know it's everybody is in a business. Uh <laughs> They give you the best scenario, you know, like when you yeah. make investments, you hundred dollars a month for about forty years, you'll be a millionaire when you retire. Well, it never happens, but uh, <coughs> according to the MMPA, they say it's more economical for them to buy green power from us, and we build the solar farms and them having them all on their houses. But uh, if you look at our green power, we don't get too many. Right. No, but we do a lot with the rebates. Yeah, but that's not the same no. thing. That's not the same thing. And I guess if everybody is talking about they want to get rid of the carbon tax and all that, then I don't know why they don't want to pay a dollar a month to get rid of it. Right now they say, why well, should I pay you a dollar when I don't have to? You know, that's basically what it amounts to. 
Okay. Well, I had someone approach me asking about yeah. that, and I know we had a policy for aesthetics or whatnot. But yeah. All right. Uh, was there anything? I didn't see anything from fire. Kelly. Yes. Pete, what about that windmill? Can I cut that circuit off? If he. I can. We can call him tomorrow. I can him. email Dave and yeah. ask him. Yeah. My understanding is they're get, they're trying to buy some windmills to replace that one. Because they don't pay for the city to feed that transformer yeah. if we yeah. don't have to. They're trying to replace it. It's, okay. Uh, the the big problem is is they're hoping that they can use the same foundation. Okay. Because we really had to put a foundation in that mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Is that, it was in a slew, wasn't it? Is that yeah. For the windmill? Is that the about 30 miles? Yeah, it's it's completely. We don't run it at all. Yeah. Uh. So, yeah, there's a lot of steel. <laughs> is there any resale value? Or is there any value to it? Scrap, at all? I suppose. Yeah, scrap That's it. it. Okay. You can buy it for fifty thousand. <laughs> but you can't put it at your house. We have an aesthetic right, policy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> may have to revisit that. That's all I need all night long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that isn't right isn't even a big one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. It was actually supposed to be bigger when they, when they started. Well, well if they put a new one in, in yep. if they can't find the same size, it's going to be bigger. Be they will have other pr issues. I mean, I'm sure Dick <laughs> isn't going to want a 100 well, foot tower by half the half city. Those, yeah, it'll be a like, full size. Don't really? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay, was there anything from the ambulance? I didn't <clears> see anything. No, um, Cheryl's going to try to provide quarterly reports. Okay, that sounds know. good. And Karen, did you have anything for your police report? I saw your report. Maybe update us on what's going on with her hiring, or lack of hiring. Yes, thank you much. Good evening. Um, so uh, my report, as you can see, is, is pretty short and sweet. We have a lot of activity in January, but not as many calls. I think that's because people have been sitting in by their fireplace, which <laughs> as they should. So one good thing. Yes. So it looks like we are going to get some snow and I just talked to Gordy about that, about our ticketing policy. You know, it is 12 hours until we would, um, it's been changed until we would ticket uh, the cars. But um, I'm going to be working a lot this week. So Aaron and I have talked about, we'll spend that proactive. I really like to get cars off the, uh, tickets generate a lot of complaints. So I'd much rather get, get the cars moved if people would be willing. So that's usually what we spend our, our time doing during that 12 hours. So that, that weather is coming up. Hiring, we are uh, currently posted for two positions. One is the uh, patrol position and the other one is the school resource officer position, which we had a quarterly meeting with the board and that was approved. The school is obviously very keen to get someone sooner rather than later. Um, we did extend talking to Jenny I did extend uh, the um, patrol officer position two weeks and uh, just for lack of applicants and that's not because the job is not desirable it's not because we're not paying fairly I, I think is very desirable job and we do pay fairly but um, there there's just a nationwide their applications are down nationwide we're police and there's a lot of theories whether economy or you know a, well, a shift in attitude with shift work um, with young people um, to even the negative PR that we've seen with law enforcement the last couple of years. So there are a lot of agencies posted. And so we decided to uh, just extend our deadline a little bit. So unfortunately, we're going to be running a little bit short, but we, uh, we've been very fortunate that Zach and Kenny, two wonderful employees who've left elsewhere, have been helping us out among some other part-timers. So I will keep you updated as soon as I know. Really looking forward to it. Um, getting this hiring process, we just want to make sure we're I would like at least three to four if we're going to sit down and, you know. Is uh, Karen going to be, uh, Karen, what's her name? Erin. Erin. Erin Hacker. Is she going to be a patrol? She is. Yes, we have a, a field training officer program that we instituted a year or two ago uh, when we brought on Officer Eric Johnson. And so she went through nine weeks and she's hit the ground running. I mean, search warrants, she's a lot more is expected of law enforcement than when I started 20 years ago. We write a lot of our own search warrants and things like that that we never did. And, and she's jumped right in. So it's, um, I'm thrilled. So, Good. so yeah, she's, uh, and we have, we have several calls that are uh, investigations that we're wrapping up with Don. I think I did uh, update you on the burglaries. I don't know if you saw in the paper, but the, um, the burglaries from last summer were, were charged out. Don charged those out. Um, but these burglaries we're still waiting on. This, that gentleman is in custody, our suspect with Iowa, and we're waiting. There's just a lot more data that I'd like to get before we, we move forward. But Don has everything at the office. And um, I've also talked extensively to Chief Deputy now, uh, Jeremy Templin, 
about just the process of DNA, and there's some other things we'd like to get with that case without going too much into detail on camera. But, um, and speaking of that, we, have, we do work very closely with the, right now we, um, and I know we're gonna have a co uh, committee meeting in the future, but we don't, Winthrop PD doesn't take call, which means when we're off, I mean, unless something major happens, they can certainly call us at home anytime they want, dispatch, but um, the dep we will work with the deputies if something happens, where well, the deputies will respond, take the initial call, secure the scene, DNA, that sort of thing, and then we work together. So that's been very beneficial. We can tap into each other's resources. Um, but I'm always willing to tweak that as the, because I think there's some misconception in the public if we're not there, we're not, you know, um, and that happens, that happens. But I have been in touch with uh, Han several times and Red Rooster, he's not here quite as much, but I've talked to Tracy and Kurt on a, on a regular basis about how that's going. So they, they are aware of how that works. And I've also talked to the sheriff, um, well, uh, the sheriff and um, Chief Deputy Templin about, our, about tweaking our um, uh, on call, sorry, the mutual aid, is that, that's what I was looking for. Right now it's just verbal, and I know the sheriff has been very keen to, to update that because it being verbal for so many years, it's kind of status quo, but it's also open to a lot of misinterpretation and misinterpretation. Right, right, right. So I very much support, um, he brought that up at a local chief's meeting about, yeah, we should, we should look into that and get some, something in writing. And I've also forwarded our contract, which is a bit outdated for the SRO to Aaron, which I know you're underwater, Aaron, so <laughs> you have a million other things to do, but possibly look into that too, because I don't believe that's been updated um, since 2003. Yeah, but that we do have it in writing. It's not a verbal. That one we have in writing. I just think it may be beneficial to update that at some point. But that's all I have. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, uh, Planning Commission. I added that new because I thought you get updates on every other commission. Yeah. Why have you never been <laughs> updated on the Planning Commission? So I've started including the minutes if Is we that have what a I'm meeting. On? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what you're on, Bob. What have you got, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> yeah Bob, what's the last meeting you've been, Bob? Well, he wasn't we at the last meeting, meeting so. <laughs> And RS Fiber, was there, there's a uh, meeting there's a coming meeting up? There's a meeting the 21st yes. of okay. <laughs> And com uh, Cable Commission report? I included the minutes for that as well. All right. Oh, and two things I quick I wanted, well, no, one thing I wanted to add. Our new hire, Paul Hagel, started today, and it's oh, going well. Okay. Yeah. So he went, drove around with Troy. Troy gave him the, you know, where everything was, and they went to the filter plant. They helped Gordy with the disconnect today. Um, so, yeah, that's going RS Fiber, where is the meeting? What time? Uh, uh, it's it going to be held. Six o'clock. It hasn't here. been posted yet, so it's not That's officially true. official. Yeah. Oh, but, so, yeah. but it most likely it'll be here. It'll be time. here, yeah. Okay. They're yeah, tentatively at six o'clock on the 21st because there was some scheduling conflict because that's the same night as the township meeting. So we're oh. going to try to hold the, the Joint Powers Board meeting here at six and then have the township meeting <coughs> at the fire hall at seven because okay. there's people that are on both mm -hmm. boards. Yeah. So, Jenny, remember we were talking about having that meeting with MMPA? Yes. That is next Tuesday at lunch. It, it is. Yes. And uh -huh. who's coming? Kim Lillyblad is coming. But I mean, it, from the public. The, it's, the businesses are invited because it's about the business. Um, oh, um, getting them to go green. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. And there's somebody from the PACE program coming also. We are doing it together with PACE. Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon at Hans at noon. Mm hmm. You know, at some point, I, I would like to bring in our, we have to buy them a cup of soup or something to come in because they have no clue what the heck is, what facilities we have or what's going on or how much they're paying or. Uh, who are you talking about, having who come in? Public. Okay. A public. Oh, invite. sure. Food usually brings them in. Yep. Something free anyway. You mean like have, have MMPA come down and have like Do a, a presentation. Okay. Show the facilities. Oh, okay. Let's do it in the summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have Mr. nothing. Mr. Mayor, I got a question. Does anybody know what's going on with the Dairy Queen? Yep. It's, it's closed, closed until, until, until spring. Yeah. It isn't closed forever? No, it's not closed forever. Okay. He tried to keep it open this winter, but it just wasn't financially feasible, so he is closed until it, the middle to end of March. Because I know the EDA gave him, what, 10000 that was a joint effort with Winthrop Opportunities. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that is being addressed as well. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So, so move. Second. So we have, uh, we have uh, a motion made and seconded uh, to adjourn the meeting. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign.
Motion carries. Tell me when that's all. Because we were one of the founding members, so yeah.